Hello everyone, I'm Herr Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the Great War Redux mod, playing as a German Empire. It's July 4th. Happy July 4th, 1915. We're still not at war, so right now, we're kind of hanging out, and you know what? I think we need a little bit of war, you know, in Europe. It's been too peaceful. We got no manpower. What is Russia up to before we do too much else? Just so I figure out what we're going to do. So complete agrarian reforms, people are starving, whatever. Uh... War Requirement Acts, well, this is not really interesting to look at Austria-Hungary since they already did their diplomatic and diplomatic, you know, focuses, foci. Still guaranteed by Italy. France is trying to st stop Italian expansionism. Nice. And the UK is doing national military service. Well, doesn't look like anything's going on. I really want to go to war with the Romanians just so we can take them out. And you know what, if I'm going to get blamed for World War One, we might as well cause World War One. So, let's go ahead and justify on these guys. I want maybe to expand Bulgaria maybe a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe give Austria a little bit of a puppet. Let's see what happens. Because it's 1915, I have to go to war to get more manpower. So, uh, that's pretty much my response. Uh, uh, let's see. We're still... We have not made any more of you guys. We might need, like... Two of you at a time. Now, obviously, we're out of manpower. We can't really do too much about it, but that's okay. I'm going to save my political power for that. Amplitude modulation. Nice. More research speed. Allows us to research the first tank, which will be extremely important. Okay, Austria. Now you're finally guarding this line here. And you moved all your divisions to guard against those guys. Finally. And we probably have enough guides guarding around the top. There's a little X here. Or a circle. Stop sign, huh? Uh, nine... I really don't trust level 1s, just having level 1, maybe that's okay, but level 10, we'll leave it at 10, cool. Mm, we got that, we definitely need some of these bad boys, naval bombers, that'd be nice. Please, someone start World War 1, I. I really don't want to start it, I want to be, you know, not too aggressive, but if I have to, I will. Ah, Research Bureau, finally, a fourth research slot, finally, let's, let's befriend Scandinavia, ah. hmm, we can do that or put pressure on them, we can invade, Invention of Finland. Establish a Finnish monarchy. Oh, there we go. We war with France. There you go. Now that Germany has found a satisfactory solution to the question of her eastern border, for now it is time to turn our attention west. The loss of Alsace Lorraine is, is a stain on the honor of the German people, and only through a just and righteous war can we avenge this. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I, I think we I think we own it already. Yeah, but we do have claims on Vos Vos Guess. Vosges. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to say Vosges. That's probably a little bit too American for me to say. Ooh, we definitely need this too. Yeah, let's go and grab that. We got a little bonus to that. Anyways, that's nice. Fuel's looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn great. We got some of this as well. We cannot deploy ships because we don't have enough manpower. What else is new? Go ahead and get some close air support because that's going to be extremely useful for us. Infantry infiltration, very good. And we have our almost our entire land off known before we even go to war against other major powers, which is... It is what it is. So. Also, we want to use armored cars. There was some couple comments from yesterday. Plays Bulgaria someday. Maybe I will. Also gave them Macedonia, just because it looks a little better. So, that was one of the comments. I have renamed the... One of these divisions. Hold on, I will show you in just a little bit. 1915. Yeah, get better artillery. Uh, this group. I've renamed them to the Kaiserliche Kustenwach. Sounded a little spitty there. Kustenwach. Cool. So we got those guys going, looking nice, looking very nice. Uh, a couple other comments, I could change names, make some elite divisions, I might do that, play as Italy of course, maybe someday. Stay with the Central Powers, we might play the, as them. When am I going to use Hindenburg? Well, I really want to use Hindenburg once I get tanks. Because Hindenburg and tanks and smash smash, my goal is really just to hold the line as best as I possibly can. For as long as I can. Oh, well, we're building up a lot of roads, which is nice, but uh... I don't think it's really necessary for now. Let time go on since we're building up these forts, so. Hopefully they won't be able to smash us, but you never know. Especially the Austrians. There you go. And keep making some of this. This will be very good stuff. Oh, time is... Let time go on. There you go. That's more important. One, two... That looks pretty good. Leave it on there like that. And we do have 200 fighters, so that's not too bad. Even though I might have to manually control these guys. That would suck. But oh well, that's okay. Uh, uh, oh, wow. We got more. Well, I can't even deploy them since we have no manpower. Hmm. As long as the Austrians don't just run their lines into people, 
That'll be good. Uh, we're no longer training, which is nice. I really have no desire to go through Pelgium yet. We're definitely going to have to wait and see what happens. I guess we will say like that. Next generation. Get some better of that. That'd be good. What are the Brits up to? Developing the Raj. Well, that's good for them. Good for the Raj. Rook the Vivani. What is that? Vivani administration. Uh, did you? All right. Well, whatever. Kingdom of Italy. Libyan resources. War with France. So we can go to war with France if we really want to. Probably not. I probably won't go to war with France because that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. The Queen Dao agreement. Let's see what that does. Now, do we get an expiration on this? October 17th, 1917. Hmm. Well, then... Oh, they're guaranteed by the UK as well? All right, all right, all right. I mean, either the Italians go to war with us. That just makes it easier for us to take them out later on. I do have horses here with the Austrians, so I'm not feeling too bad about this. We could go to war. I really, want to, I really don't want to start a global war, though. Someone else, please. I mean, we took out Serbia last time, which is fine. Libyan resources, develop the Raj, modernization, claim... Hmm, now that's an interesting idea. Why is that ahead of time? Eh, whatever. Just give me the best artillery we got right now. Guns are good, everything's looking pretty good, except manpower. Oh, for the love of God, I wish someone just go to war. Just not me. No one wants to be the aggressor here. And they're guaranteeing Romania. Oh, okay. oh, good, 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 good. Let's see, you guys got... Yeah, throw another one on there. You guys definitely... We we have a lot of capital ships. They're not very good, but we have a lot of capital ships. Yeah, that's not bad for a line, honestly. That's really not bad. Especially since the line's pretty spread out. We should be able to hold against the Russians. We should be able to. The Romanians might be a little tricky. The Bulgarians... I hope they join the Central Powers. But if they're going to go to war with Romania and the Entente gets involved, we'll probably add them to our alliance. Gains core on north and south. It's not bad. It claims on Nice. Nice? Is this Nice? No, that's Thrace. Ooh, where's... Nice? Nice? No? This might press up. Now we can go to war with them. What do, when does that expire? 19th of Febru February, 1916. Burgos. Queen Dao Agreement, very good. Germania Rule, Naval Supremacy sounds like fun. Yeah, we could do that. So then we get Tirpitz, nice. Oh, there's, ah, uh, you know what? If Bulgaria goes to war, and goes to war with Romania, we could just give them all of Dobruj, yeah. I can't obviously say that, but uh, we can give them all that. That's fine with me, that's totally fine with me. Hey, 1916, great. We're gonna get some of these bad boys. Oh yeah. We're doing well on surpluses. Uh, the line's looking pretty strong here. Uh, German advisors. Well, you know what? If we're going to get blamed for the war, let's just go and go to war with Romania. I'm not going to call anyone in. I'm not going to call them Austrians or anything like that. So this war has started over Romania. Not so Oh, see? Exactly. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Should the 1916 Olympic Games be cancelled? The war committee wins gold and poor foresight. And the Juarez, Juarez assassination, the Great War. Finally, if we're going to get, you know, blamed for it, we might as well go to war. Now, don't... I'm not going to call them in yet. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. Focus only on me for now, and I don't want to forget. We have to raise our conscription. I'm going to go... We could go straight there. Up it goes on by 6%. 3.5% is not going to be enough, so we got to go to service by requirement, so. You know, can we win this war even if we just don't even call in Austria-Hungary? That might be a really wild thing. We've lost 1,000, basically. They've lost 26,000. Perfect. Perfect, my friends. Let's make sure at least this task force is really good first. Von Hipper. Screen-wise, we're really, really not there yet. Hey! Oh, so I am. I thought it was going to be Bulgaria, but whatever. Cool. Yeah, hey, man. You want to join the fun? Uh, Japan? Oh, you want to join us? Man. Man, come on. Hey, at least we got Siam. Feeling pretty good about that. Ah, uh, even better artillery. Nice. 
Now there, oh wait, oh, almost 300 days, holy cow. No, we good, we good, man. Get some of that. So the reason I don't want to call them Austrians is because I don't want them to be on so many different, oh wait, oh, well, they're, they're called in anyways, all right. Because I don't want them to suffer too much. I don't want them to just spam and attack the lines as much as they possibly want because that's a really bad idea. I'm literally trying to save their soldiers from themselves. All right, now we can get Japan in. There we go. I don't know why, but... Oh, they're already fighting them. Uh, don't you remember World War I where the Japanese, Austro-Hungarians, and the Germans, and the Turks fought all alongside each other? At least with the Japanese. That's really weird, but that's okay. Ah, uh, trench warfare. Ah, beautiful. And the French just showing up in their blue uniforms, having a great time. Uh, looks like you've been called into the war anyways. Thank you. And who's just fighting against me? The... I could have waited. Unite... I could have waited. What? Oh, I spent so long, I could have waited, and the Russians would have been blamed for the start of the war. Well, since we started the war, we better win the war. And I don't want to forget. You guys. Uh, let's put you over here first. So, you gotta do that. And then, boom, boom. Whee! Nice. Very nice. We got a couple Zeppelins, that's not good. But we got plenty of fighters for this. And we're making some close air support, which is really good. Deploy the planes, deploy the planes. I maybe we should have deployed them before, but then again, we didn't have any manpower. Whatever. No one's counting that. Good. Thank you. Thank you. And we are deployed, ready to go. I will send you two down here to northern France. It looks like you guys are getting pummeled pretty hard down there. And I really should have built up more air bases. Hmm. There you go. Oh, wait, there's an airbase up there, too. Nice. Very nice. Ah, oh, there it is. Now we should be able to push them out. Oh, they got 600, huh? That's okay. Just kind of hang out for now. See, this is why I don't want to call the Austrians in, because they're just going to attack like crazy. They're pushing into Romania, which is awesome. Italy, what are you up to? Son, would you like an agreement? Would you like to join our alliance? Because I would gladly welcome you in, my friend. You can have literally all the southern coast of France. If you join, I'll give you all that. Now, since we're at war, I'm still waiting to get tanks. That, that is my goal. Let the Russians think that we are weak and defenseless. And, and, you know, we might be in some areas, you know? You never know. You never know. And, I know it's really gamey to do this, but it is trench, supposed to be trench warfare. But whatever, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, you're going to need some of that for attack. You're going to need that, too. You guys are going to need that when we attack. We do have Falkenhayn, who does give us more attack, but I'm trying to maximize out the attack as much as possible. Look at that manpower. Love it. Advisors, no thanks. I think we talked about that last time. It's not very good. Schlieffen, Mokterplan. I'm going to wait to do that until we get tanks and a ton of air support. Uh, we do not like Romania. There you go. Might be Romanian in real life, because I know a Romanian or two. Uh, they're all right. Just in this campaign, not so much. We'll make them right. We will make them great. Um, with Italians abandoning the border, unless they want to join me, I'm going to keep them here just because... Oh, you never know what Italians might do. How is this line doing? Can you imagine if Switzerland decided to invade me right now? That'd be really bad. That'd be pretty darn bad. Uh, Albra, do you have anything? Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. Are you learning anything special? Trickster, Ranger, Naval Supremacy? I love Naval Supremacy. Atlantic Shipyard, Pacific Shipyard, Atlantic Shipyard. There we go. Schleswig Holstein, Vesa Ems. We can actually build ships now because since we have. Oh, oh, another battleship. That's that's actually not a bad battleship at all. That reminds me, we can get upgrades for our ships now. Was it really worth it? Probably not. Honestly, it's honestly probably not really worth it. All right, since we're here, I love roads, but let's build some more military factories first before we're done. You know, that'd be kind of nice. Build up tons of mil military factories, because we're going to need them for tons of planes. Air Force-wise, we're doing pretty well. Not great. They did double their amount of planes, or at least double to ours. They're still going to do a lot of damage to us, which is nice. But we're going to need more planes, regardless. Fighters. Oh, yeah, we need rubber. I need... Ooh, I, hold on. We don't have this yet. God dang it. Uh, we're supposed to be working on that. Forgot about that. Ooh. Actually, can we trade for rubber? Do we have any land connection to anyone? Belgium! Yes, I love the Belgians. They're the, the great people. Why would anyone want to ever invade them? And now we're fighting the Portuguese Republic. You know what? We might as well just go to war with Spain, too, to get to Portugal. Just just go to, go through them. 
All right, France. I love your little blue uniforms, but this is probably not the time to attack like crazy. If you come over the hill, into my forts and mountains, I mean, just... That ain't smart. But that's okay with me. Keep doing it. A task force. Not bad. And these are the already pre-made battleships, which are... They're okay. They're really not that great. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's just... What do we call that? Garbage. That's what we call it. Cool. Alright, so they are attacking... They love Prussia. I mean, they love Prussia so much, probably because it has P-Russia. And that's why they're attacking so harshly. Oh, you're actually... You might actually lose there. Never mind. Hmm. I really want those tanks. I really, really, really want those tanks really badly. Oh, we actually lost... We didn't lose, but... U.S. Declaration of Neutrality. War can't be avoided. You know what, United States? You do you. We're not going to say that you can't be neutral in a conflict like this. No. I, we would never say do that. You know what? I, I lied. I'm going to take Von Mackensen off. Can we deal a blow to the Romanians? If we could. If I can get Cloyesti, that would be amazing. Let's move on down to war economy. We could do total mobilization, but I need manpower, so no thank you. All right, so even though they're attacking me, we actually, since this is a year, basically, historically, we began the war in 1915. We are not going to be starving until probably 1917, maybe. So that's good to keep in mind. Because I am trying to think of, like, shortages, like food shortages that the German people would be suffering right now. So we got to make sure that we win this war, at least, or at least take the Ukraine, liberate them, and then totally not steal their food because we need food. Because there might be a blockade here since I dropped my ships out. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. All right, good. You're doing that. Ship hulls. Yeah, that'd be nice. Going to do that. We don't really need that many more capital ships, but that's okay. Cruisers are where we, is what we really need. Their Arvets has been injured. I mean, the Ottomans have been able to push into Armenia. Oh, I should not say that. Or no, maybe they lost it. Maybe no, no, they might have had. Oh yeah. Maybe that's not a good idea to have the Ottomans push into Armenia. Yeah, yeah, that might not be a good idea. Yeah, Persia's doing okay, though. I mean, they push into there. Uh, they're losing a little bit over here, but you know what? That's all right. Oh, they're losing over... Yeah, they're kind of winning. Losing, you know, whatever. Atlantic Shipyards, very cool. Atlantic class. That sounds like fun. I don't know. <sighs> Befriend Sweden or put pressure on Scandinavia. I want to wait until the war's more in our favor to put pressure on them. So, let's go with focus on light aviation first, since we want to get the best planes possible. All right, you guys are good. Come this way. Give them forced attack. Send half you guys go straight for the port. Nice. Send one guy up here. Sturm Panzerwagen. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to use them. Naval stuff. I'm going to keep you guys still behind for now. I really don't like having you guys just be set out. All this stuff is garbage. Uh, plane stuff is pretty important right now since we can use it immediately. Fiat Hospital 2 is very good, very good. Logistics, military police is always welcome with us. So, we've got armor divisions, huh? Ah, uh, someone also told me to rename this Panzerwagen. Absolutely. Are these like, are these considered light tanks? Uh, uh, well, I mean, I guess if they're light tanks, I guess technically, you know, whatever. Oh, actually, you know what, get rid of that. Instead of armored cars. Well, is that good for resistance? Suppression is what? No? no it's, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not, yeah. You gotta do that. 18. And then... At least it's not really hurting our organization, which is nice. It's only 18. 5, 4. 3.4 armor. 3.6 might be enough to do okay. I don't want to put anything else on here, just because it could lower the armor amount, which is really something we don't want it to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. There you go. Edit. Nope. Eh, we might save that for later. Actually, since we're here, someone did tell me that I should make some special units. We might go ahead and make 40 combat with special, special units. Like, they're special, but they got an extra layer of specialness added onto them. Special, special, special. Since we have the army XP, since the enemy is just ramming themselves into our line, which we like, but still. Engineers, give me them engineers, that's absolutely mandatory. Maintenance companies would be nice, but I like recon as well. 
this would increase armored cars. We're not really using armored cars anymore, so just go with that. Tried and true. Train. Oh wait, we already trained. Get two at a time. And good. We're working on it. And oh, I should have been paying attention to this a little bit more. This is a giant mess. Oh. Oh good. At first I thought there was an open hole here. That would have been really, really bad. Come straight into there. Yeah, you can't match German horses. I mean, they're only 16, 16 combat. Oh my god. What am I doing? These guys need a buff. Uh, who cares about motorized infantry? We can't afford that. Horses are where it's at, man. Horses are, are the good stuff. Oh, yeah, didn't, doesn't our land doctrine give us like bonus to horses as well, I think? Uh, yeah, it's just going to be straight horses. No artillery or anything like that. Or line it, line artillery. I'll put artillery here. Field hospitals, absolutely. They need that. Engineers, yes. Logistics-wise, the way uh, supply use is kind of... Actually, got it quite a bit. That, that, just go ahead and do that. You're the special forces. For now, uh, this is the early special forces. Man, these Romanian divisions must really suck booty if they can't beat us up. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. We got, we're out of guns. Are we out of guns? Oh, we might be out of guns. No? I don't think we were, but... Alright, well, whatever. Oh, at least we split up Romania. That's really nice. You guys are doing alright. More than double to combat with for this. Beautiful. Shock troops, and we're done with our land auction. Upgrades for infantry, urban attack. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Logistics. Signal companies. Ooh, I never use signal companies. That sounds actually kind of interesting. Let's get some maintenance companies first, though. And we'll focus on some other things. Von Falkenhain was wounded. Wait, are you? No, you're Von Mackensen. Huh. Very good, very good. And the Russians. Russia, please. You're killing off your men. Now, I like that, but... Man, come on, we don't even have tanks. I want to kill you all by using tanks. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so we need these guys to get a little bit more strength first. Can four divisions beat these guys up? They might be... How weak are you? Intel advantage. Oh yeah, what? what what's your, we haven't created an agency yet. We need an agency. Abwehr, probably, but... Is it Abteilung 3 Bay? Okay. Unless you guys think of another German name we should call our intelligence company. Oh, are, are, are you going to abandon the line? Because, man, this could really help out Austria a little bit if we get rid of you guys right now. Hey, if we get Bucharest. I mean, we've already spent Romania, too. So, I mean, these special forces, they mighty special. I love them. And we have Bucharest. Romania, thank you. Okay, that was, that was surprisingly relatively easy. For Romania? I was, I was expecting a little bit more of a challenge, not gonna lie. Just a little bit more of a challenge. I want them to focus my line, so I'm gonna spread these guys out a little bit. Avondagots. Doing pretty pretty nice job. Now the French. Oh god, I... Casualties. Wow, that's a lot of casualties. Wow. You guys lost a lot. So has the Ottoman state. But not nearly as much as uh, the Russian Empire. And how's France doing? 400,000 casualties? That's not very good. Oh, you just... Ah, uh, the Hoi 4 AI is... is special. It's very special. Oh, look, you guys are out. Nice. God, I love having manpower. It's so nice having manpower. Thank you. Oh, you know, just in case. Now, we will be giving that to Bulgaria when we're done. Sorry, Austria, but it is what it is. You know, since you're guarding the line, you should be able to do bot okay by yourself. Could we send those horses, and instead of using tanks, just use a bunch of horsey boys to assault enemy positions? That sounds like a lot of fun. Now, Italy, I don't like that your soldiers there. And okay, but I like this. Invite some German investors. Oh yeah. If anything, a good strike might include attacking here. And seeing how far north we can get. Maybe get Brest-Litovsk. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. War bonds. Ah, oh, I love war bonds so much. 
Yeah, we don't like the French either, so. That overdone. Uh, French troops suffered thousands of casualties. The fighting took the form of a bloody massacre. And What's going on? Uh, and the reports from the front no longer inspire patriotism in the population. The Verdun meat grinder will continue to take human lives until the end of the war. And one of the parties is not triumph in the sense of... What do you mean? This is great! The Battle of Verdun... Where... Verd I thought Verdun was, like, over here. I mean, I'm obviously not focusing on the French at all. We have the Re Russian Revolution, the collapse of the Russian aristocracy, or autocracy. Hey, man. I want to use my tanks against y'all. So please don't let the commies rise up just yet. I want to do my death blow first. Ah, up there. Nice. Very nice. Go ahead and do that. Uh, I am tempted to leave. Oh, Vladimir Lenin leaves Switzerland. Have a good trip, Vladdy! Like, pull out some of these guys just to bait the enemy to attack me. It's such a stupid move you can do. But it works so well. It's ridiculously. Oh, sometimes it works well. Cool. Next up, uh, we're gonna wait on that. Should I? Let me know in the comments below. Should I befriend Sweden or put pressure on Scandinavia? Let me know in the comments below. But let's focus on some airships. Nice. And really, what we have to do is get more research for planes or rubber factories, which we really, really need to concentrate on. But we're gonna build a ton more military factories right now. Just we gotta focus on the off the wazoo. Times. But it's cavalry time. Von Mackinson, what can you do for us today? Can you win here? Oh, for the love of God, please win. Siam. No, not Siam. Can you get up this direction? It's, it's definitely a struggle. How is the air battle going? Probably not. Well, it's going okay. Actually, we've beat back quite a few enemy fighters. Nice. Oh, I forgot about you guys. I did I forget about y'all? Good, 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 good. Just get up to here. Good, and hold. Just hold for now. Okay, supply is very bad. I'm going to wait to get more Austrians up here. Stretch out their line just a little bit more and see what happens. Come on. Looks like the Russians are a little tired out. Please, for the love of God, give me tanks. Oh, spies. Uh, when I see a smoocher, a Dutch. Is that Dutch smoocher? Hmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Cool. Cryptology? Uh, definitely against the French. We're gonna need that. Go do government cipher schools. Okay, France, please. For the love of God, please. I mean, I don't care that much for the French men in this campaign. But, man, they're still guys. Please, for the love of God, they're still guys. No wonder you're gonna have mutinies. If, if the French don't get, get mutinies, I'm gonna just throw a fit. Like, after doing stuff like this... Like, son, son... How many people are you going to kill? Now, supply is really bad around here. Oh my goodness. These garrisons looking nice. But these guys... Hmm. You know what? Pull these guys out because supply is so bad. I like what we did there. Can we do something like that up here? Supply... 10 out of 10. Love it. Airplane-wise... We're doing okay. They still want to bomb the heck out of us. Uh, I forgot to give him orders. Don't want to forget. Wait. Uh, synthetic oil. Can I not build refineries? Hmm. Oh, get, get, get some construction speed. Oh, there we go. Synthetic refinery level oh, 1918. Oh, crap. Uh, we're gonna get some rubber. We're gonna get some rubber. Well, I have to trade for it. Well. I guess we're going to have to go without. Alright, horses. Get your organization. Francois has been wounded by the... Francois? A Francoisish? Yeah, light tank equipment. Can't really progress. We're going to need some more of this. Go and do that. We have enough motorized for now. Nice military police. Good stuff. Good stuff. I love the police. Love them so much. So much. Flames. Purposely not using my navy because I want to save it because we're going to need it for the invasion of the UK. Government cipher schools. <sighs> need passive defense. I really need rubber. Who has rubber? I mean, Belgium has it because they own Zaire. 
or you know, the Congo. But uh, hmm, I need rubber so I can make planes so I can bomb the hell out of the British Navy. If we could take out the Raj, that'd be great. The Dutch East Indies, Brazil, even the U.S. has got just a tiny bit. Hmm. Give us time, give us time. I'll figure something out. Uh, you have two here versus five over there. That's a bit nuts, don't you think? If we can move fast enough, we can move this way. Focus on airships. Oh, that's always nice. Luftstreitskraft. Luft. Luftstreitskraft. What is it? You know, doctrines. That's always good. Move, boys, move. Von Mackensen, you are a horse guy. He is an old guard, which really sucks, but whatever. Cavalry leader. Nice. Get the infantry down there. That'd be good. Can you help out, maybe? Don't let them put another couple soldiers. Oh, they put some more, a couple more soldiers in there. Ooh, yeah. The lines been pretty stagnant. We could do a general attack, but I'm thinking nah. I'm really thinking nah here. Can we encourage them to attack us? Oh, we become a spy master. That might be worth it, actually. Yeah, they're not even tempted to attack me now. That's sad. Why is there so much lag? Holy... Ah, I see why there's so much lag. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we sent good old Vladdy back. Vladdy, how are you? The Great Socialist Revolution. A Russian field of experiments. God, I'd hate to be the Tsar right now. The United States joined France. Okay. Okay, so you're just going to be joining the French? Pro-British. Well, it looks like we could kill off Woodrow Wilson here. Or something. He's a dead president. We can say that, right? Well, if they want to leave, I guess it's quite literally free Laban's realm. Thank you for playing. Alright, guys. Go ahead and move in. And just in case, I'm going to give each of you guys, to the best of my abilities, a plane. An air wing. Give you just a single plane. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Hey, we actually made it. Nice. Everyone gets an air wing. Well, not everyone. Oh, yes, yes. Look at that. Look at this. <sighs> Hallelujah. It's going to be raining dead Russian bodies. Um, For now, sure. I think that just makes sense. You guys, give one to the horse group. Give another one to you guys. And give one of you guys here. That's fine. Please complete the encirclement. For the love of God. Uh, did I not give you orders? I might not have given you orders. Honestly, this is looking really disgusting. Hold on, let's let's reform this. There we go. Oh, oh, I chose the wrong side. I chose the wrong side. Whoopsie! Now that is my fault. On like Western Front, I wonder how many of you people actually caught that. Saying, oh, Mr. Mocha Lava, don't do that. You're being dumb dumb. Sometimes I do have my periods of dumb dumbness. There you go. No wonder. These fronts, they look so similar. Uh, if you could get up there, actually, that would be great. There you go. Now you should be getting back in the line. Well, I mean, I did want them to attack me, so I guess this kind of worked. Uh, yeah, it worked. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want them to come in that far, but whatever. Whatever. Alright, so it seems like this might be a Brest Litovsk Treaty here. Well, it kind of worked for a while. I didn't even realize I sent most of the guys off the line. That would have been disastrous. Oh my god, look at Poland. Or what will be future Poland. There you go, just go straight on in. Put them out of their misery. Just say that we're liberating them from their oppressors. There you go. Everyone likes a good uh, rise from oppression. Nice. We're going to save Poland by burning it to the ground. Hmm. And then rebuilding it, probably. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Let's see if we have the budget for it first, though. Because wars are expensive. Incredibly expensive. And you know what? Since we're here, let's build some more dockyards. We're going to need them. we definitely going to need them. Alright, you're looking very nice. You guys are kind of hanging out. And we are pushing... Pretty darn well against the Russians. Oh, what's going on? Kind of laggy. Hello? 
What are you doing, game? Oh, for the love of God, it just completely stopped. Please don't crash. Oh, hold on, it moved. It moved barely. <gasps> the Ukraine is out. Hello. Ah, oh, the breakup of the country. Gotta love it. Can I just... You know what? Let's see what the peace deal is like, and then we'll kind of reassess ourselves here. Nice. Cut them all off. Very good. Now, let's make sure we grab the right army. You know what? Screw this. Come down here. That's why it screwed me up. You guys. Wow, we have got too many soldiers on this part of the line. See if you can do that. You know what? I said what I said, but... Mm, we need food. Germany is starving. If that's the case, three guys over here. There's like one at a time since we are, are pretty much already filled up down here. We don't need that much more infantry, really. Nice. If that's the case, thank you for your service. Because you're already stacked up. Nice. Very nice. Let's see. Can they even do anything against us, really? There's not that many divisions that they have. I love it when people have socialist revolutions and destroy their ability to become, well, a warmonger. You know what? Thank you. And this might give us access to more of China. Oh, they're actually found the Japanese. Nice. Yeah, so I am. You were taken up by the French. That's disappointing. What are the casualties like? No, Franz Joseph. You were ruling Austria-Hungary for so long. Well, hello, Franz Ferdinand. Welcome back. Uh, we're kind of okay with that. We lost quite a few guys, but not really. I mean, you guys are crazy. Red movement? That's not bad. Casually, I've only lost 1.37. That's really not too bad. A little white movement has lost 1.84. Uh, even though we're destroying the white movement, we'll help them out later on. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Now, the Soviets... If you could, like, get out of the way... Is someone rebelling again? Someone might be rebelling. No. Ah, peace treaty with Russia. Russia asks to arrange a meeting with our allies in order to discuss the signing of a peace treaty. The war on the Eastern Front is almost over. All that remains is us for to demand territory and reparations from the Russians. Okay, let's conclude the truce. War to victory. Declares war on Soviet. I like this. I mean, we're capable of doing this right now, but good. Let's conclude a truce for now. So Italy is not in the war. Belgium's not in the war. The French have lost so many people. Protect main ports. Wow, military construction speed. God dang, son. But anyways, Russia invited Germany to conclude a truce, as it is no longer able to continue the war without an efficient army. In the coming days, the Russians will hold peace talks with the Germans and brest litovsk in order to stop the bloodshed on the Eastern Front together. Do we have an alternative route? Well, you know what? Until that happens, just keep pummeling them as best you can. Convoy sailing? Very nice, because well, let's really focus on the Navy now. Which I honestly probably should have been doing earlier, but whatever. Whatever. Whatever, you know? Fighters. we got to make sure we have enough fighters. But it looks like we already do. Really focus on those guys. Can we get anything else here? Belgium. I'll, I'll take five, you know. There's no... There's a guarantee that I won't get any convoys done since we don't need convoys. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh. Was someone else turned red? Who did I just sign a peace treaty with? Or something. Oh, that's, that's nice. Uh, let's get the Fockers. Nice. Very good. I like the Fockers. I like the Fockers. Now, how are we going to take out France? Well, we'll take out France using these things once we can get them. Light tank equipment. Radio interception group. Very good. Gets more passive defense. Let me see why my cat outside... Oh, look at that guy. Is complaining so very much. Can give me just one moment, please? My apologies, but Binky likes to be very, very loud, and he likes it when we win a war. So, Binky! So I really want to see what this peace treaty is going to be like. What are we going to get out of it? Is anyone going to own the Ukraine? I'm waiting for quite a bit of lag. Ah, treated Brest Litovsk. Poland. Delegations are assembled. Now we need to decide to do with, with occupied Poland. We have long planned to create a vassal kingdom in Warsaw. True, we have the right to do anything with these lands. That's so hard to read. Create a vassal kingdom. They lose a core on it. Nice. <coughs> I could just straight up annex them. Kingdom of Poland. 
gains core, they lose core. I think that would be really cool to, to just straight up annex them. That would look so amazing. Give the pull. I'm sorry, man, if you're Polish. I'm really sorry, but it's it's vassal time. Ah, ah, Kingdom of Poland. And you know what? Oh, wait, we have claims. We have claims on them, but I don't really care. Uh, maybe we can annex them later. But really, this way, if they have their own little kingdom, we can deport all the Poles there if we really want to, because this part of Prussia still has quite a few Poles. Uh, uh, okay, I guess people have rebelled. All right, whatever. And we can deport Poles from Krakow to Warsaw, too. So, big thinking right there. Big thinking. UK. Bulgaria? I mean, if you were in this war, I would have given you stuff. But you're just kind of in the way now. You are just kind of in the way. You're five. You even supported us, but you don't want to join our faction. Oh, wait. You're, o oh, you're already in your own faction. Uh, do that. So be it. We'll do what we have to. Oh, god dang it. You hurt my war support. My war efforts, man. Hmm. Plus, her support's looking pretty good. We can lower it down by three, maybe? Get some more guys on here first. Yeah, definitely more naval bombers. Pass the defense, get some anti-partisan stuff. Ukrainian sovereignty, nice, very good. Alright, so since we're done on this part of the front, and this is the western front, we're gonna surround these guys. Hey, did we just do something? Maybe? maybe? Cool. We'll divide the Ukraine between us and the Austro-Hungarians. Nice. Do that. And we got a Turk. Wilhelm? I mean, I gotta go for Wilhelm, right? I mean, Wilhelm is just Wilhelmic. Uh, definitely do Paris. Send... Not you, because you're actually pretty good. Eh, uh, no, you're pretty good, actually. You are good at counter-espionage? Yes. Binky! Baltic states. Should become puppet Lithuania and the Baltic... Principality. Hmm. Get three puppets, probably. Annex them. Free the region. We get a lot of political power, but we don't really need it. Puppet them. Ah, oh, Lebensraum. Oh, ah, oh, you know Ah, oh, the United Baltic Duchy. Welcome back. Von Mecklenburg, led by Smen oh, Smetna. Smetna? No. Smetona. And the Poles are led by... Ah, yes, a crown. Hey, but they love us, and that's what matters. Nice. Oh, the Ukrainians look so depleted. Yemen is gone. Very nice. You guys should honestly have a pretty easy time taking out the Ukrainians. Sorry if you're Ukrainian. Especially to my mod Discord server. The server on my mod, you know, whatever. Ah, they're guaranteed by pretty much everyone. No one wants to see the Ukrainians gone. Huh. That's good. I'm gonna take you out then. You can try to defend against the border here. Bulgaria, you had an option to. You could have joined us. You could have joined the crux side of the wall. Tsaritsyn, Kuban Republic. Belarus proclaims independence. The liberation of Belarus declared independence. We hope that they can survive this war in which Germany and Russia found themselves. Between the devil and the deep sea. Well. You're not gonna last that long, my friend. I got your land fair and square. And once the Ukrainians are gone... Oh, hello. Azir's capitulated. Uh, who are you? Almighty Don Host? You aren't gonna like what I'm about to do to you. Egypt is gone as well. The Ottomans are doing great without the Russians doing very much. Yeah, we're gonna need some tanks, son. I need more of an industry. Oh. So we're making a few naval bombers. We have 16. That's really not very much at all. I really don't want to do this, but we're going to have to. That's good. Do that as well. Put the support equipment at the bottom. That'll be fine for now. Any partisan stuff. Do more anti-partisan because we can. And get another... Yakub? Cool, wow. This video's gone on for quite a while. I didn't even realize that. Let's see. Come on down. We can't come down. What the heck? Come over here. That'd be good. Fokker. Very nice. Ejaz is gone. Aviation cult time. Nice. So that's pretty much where we're going to end today's episode. Right now we've done the Brest-Litovsk Treaty. Hopefully we can get some more stuff. Maybe, maybe not. We're trying to get Ukraine. Bulgaria is going to be a problem here too. But 
that's okay with us because we are winning already this war. Now we just got to figure out how to smash the heck out of the French. But anyways, let me know in the comments below. Should we befriend Sweden or put pressure on Scandinavia? But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow as we are going to focus very heavily on the southern Balkan front as well as the French front. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.